today's video is about Oren's millipede. Fairly new species, both in the hobby and to science. You'll notice how thick they are in the middle, and then at both ends they sort of taper. These are Florida bolus orini, named after my friend and author of all of the bug books, Orin McMonagle. They're actually pretty funny to watch. I remember when he told me the story a long time ago about how they came to be named after him. Well, I won't spoil the story. I will leave it for him to tell when he wants to tell it. I'm sure that these are in his larger millipede book. I don't think they're in the smaller one. I just put them here in this container a few moments ago, and so on some of the specimens, you can see a little bit of their secretions. There's a good example right there on the sides. Millipedes secrete these toxins. Doesn't necessarily mean that they are dangerous to your skin, but if a predator comes along and gets a mouthful of these substances here that they exude, it will be extremely distasteful. I highly doubt it would poison the animal to a point that um, it would make them terribly sick just on a little uh, bit of it getting in their mouth alone. If, however, the animal were to eat one, I imagine they wouldn't ever want to do it again, it would probably make them sick. And the same would be true for people. I always caution people not to get it in their eyes, nose, or throat, and to wash their hands if it leaves any residue on them. I don't seem to have gotten any on my hands here, but uh, I will demonstrate, I suppose, what it looks like if you do a little bit of yellowing at the finger there. And it has a very strong smell, these secretions do. Uh, more of a warning, I think, so that if you smell it, uh, you're getting too close. Floridobolus orini. These have only been in the hobby. It's 2019 now. I think since maybe Maybe 2015? I don't know. We all just keep getting older, and uh, this is one of the species of millipedes that is undoubtedly most recently described, and um, there's another one down in Florida, at least one. It's called Floridabolus floydi, and that one is named after another friend of mine. Good shot there of the eyes. Let's take it in closer. Wonderful shape there on the heads. Pointed, pointed cheeks we could call them. And those segments, such a primitive body design. A successful one worked now for millions and millions of years. And just amazing to think that just a few years ago, the two species, this one included that I just mentioned, were not known to science. They hail from Florida. And now we are breeding them here in the hobby. They are not uncommon. They were just not known. People had obviously seen them before, but didn't realize that they were something new. And that's part of the interesting story that Oren tells about how he sent them to a researcher. Look at this one. A game of train. 
possibly mating behavior, but I'm not sure yet. Sometimes they just want to go where the others are going. So, see this millipede here has just secreted on my fingers, and it is not coiling up. It is, however, very typical of millipedes to actually coil up when you handle them. They also sometimes do that writhing about motion that you see there, sort of snake-like almost. This one here is coiled, a defensive coil. Of course, the head and other vital areas of the body are tucked in there. A vulnerable point, of course, would be where the legs attach to the body. A little bit softer in there, kind of like a the missing scale in the armor of a dragon, perhaps. You can see the mouth of the millipede moving in there just a little bit, or at least the head. Might as well mention this one here. This is an albino, Narcius americanus. That's what we call them in the hobby, albinos. A, bear, a very pale, true breeding color form. Pretty common foods for millipedes here. There's wood in the substrate there, and then leaf litter there on top. And I like to feed them fish food pellets, and I feed a lot of cucumber to millipedes. Definitely one of their favorite foods. Get some shots here of an orange millipede feeding. I can steady the camera here a little bit. It's always kind of difficult to hold the camera still at magnification while you're bending over a table and sort of awkwardly holding the camera inside of a confined space. The legs of millipedes. There are two pairs per segment, so each one of these segments here has two legs on each side of the body, total of four legs. Come back to that in a moment. Let's watch these other ones here walking. Oh. Meeting each other there in the middle. Almost looked like they were Reenacting a scene from Lady and the Tramp. It also reminded me a little bit of those math problems where you have two trains rushing at each other on the same track from opposite directions. See that wave like pattern in the feet? And now let's check back on our feeding friend here. Well, we'll work on getting some better shots of millipedes feeding in the future. You can see the antenna there sort of moving around, maybe gently tapping the cucumber bit every once in a while. Tap, tap. But this millipede knows exactly what it's doing. It doesn't need to move the antennae around too much to find things because its mouth is right where it wants it to be. They just love cucumber.